Now the question is, how do you tame a lightning bolt? And the answer, with some clever suspension wizardry. Gone is the old three-chamber air suspension, and in comes a two-chamber, two-valve system. Smarter, faster, and adaptive. Opt for the active suspension, and the car can lean into corners like a caffeinated motorcyclist. Now, need it tighter? The RS specific drive modes lets you tweak everything from ride height to throttle response, all the way to the fake exhaust noise. There's a new RS performance mode too. It holds gears longer, boosts torque vectoring, and fine tunes the slip control so you can take corners with surgical precision or theatrical flair. So let's step back a bit because Audi didn't just tweak. This is a full model refresh. The lineup now includes the 670 horsepower S e-tron GT and the full flat 912 horsepower RS e-tron GT performance. Even the entry level S goes 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds. That's quicker than last year's RS. Range? Well, you'll get 300 miles in the Model S and that's not bad considering the pace. That's up from 249 miles in the previous model. Audi tweaked the chemistry, nickel cobalt manganese ratios were adjusted to increase energy density and discharge rates. That's battery speak for more zoom, less boom.